I needed a lot of help with this too because I'm an egomaniac and so you just like, you know, any questioning of you wouldn't want to spend time with me. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, so, so I think that, and Sia again, back in my ear was really helpful. Like I think the, so it's a lot of times these young guys, they're going to, and I don't know about the girls, but the young guys are really test you, you know, like, are you really there? Like, you know, and so they, they back up a step and see if you walk away, like they expect you to, you know? And so, uh, and it's all this dance happens without ever mentioning, like without the ever verbalizing any of it. And so I, I found again, because of Sia, I couldn't see it. Um, uh, these patterns of he, what he would do to, to sort of shove and then see what my reaction was. And, um, I, and I took the bait at first, you know, like I was like all up and I was worried. Like I was thinking maybe I need to take time off from the thing and give him, you know, show him I'm serious and blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, I just sort of calmed down and all that. And, uh, and, uh, and then I just go with the ocean, whichever the current is flowing. I just go with it. If he don't want to talk, I just, I'll do my monologues. And every once in a while I hear him stifle a laugh and I'm like, ha, he's listening. <laughs> And, uh, you know, and, uh, and I put out, like, I'll put on music that, he, you know, the, I know his favorites, you know, not that he tells me I got to get it from his sister or his mom and, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and I, and just, just de-emphasize, well, I'm just saying the same thing you are just de-emphasizing my own ego and needs in the relationship and really just trying to make it him the center of it. And, uh, that's sort of my role, I feel, as a big brother. And um, But what? tell me your strategies, because I might learn, I'm sure I will learn something from how you deal uh, with it. You know, I, um, I'm constantly trying to remind myself, and I got a lot of help from the, the, the great people in the organization that I, that, that I do this through. They're called the Fulfillment Fund. It's an LA-based organization. And um, it is, it's about taking the, the, the evil little monster that is my ego yeah. out of it. But... A lot of it is tied tied to you know my worry, you know, for him. I mean, he's you know he's seventeen, he's six two, he's handsome and charming, and he kind of knows it. But he <laughs> but he's also you know he's African American. He's from a single parent household. He, he and you know he lives in a in, in kind of a rough neighborhood. He's got f concerns that I I I don't have. Um, so I I think I've tried to stop worrying as much and when I do have those worries I talk to the the I go to the, the specifically the person who's there to you know help me through it and I I'm, um yeah I think I it, like the I think the worry is about me mm -hmm. too so that I, I I just recently put my finger on that and just <laughs> trying to you know he yeah he 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 you're lucky. Mine openly makes fun of me, like in <laughs> in, in my car. It, it's like I, really, but I just you know you just take it and just know that if if he's gotten in the car, I guess that's a good sign. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But we need a, like a Big Brothers Anonymous, you know, yeah. to like tell all our stories yeah. and get it all out, and then we can go take take the hits. But yeah, his mom texted me like, like two nights ago and said, you know, like. It's so interesting. You're like the only person. He, he stays in the house, goes to practice his sports, you know, goes to school a lot, but stays in the house. And like, you're the only person who'll go out. And I'm like, what? Because I'm like the last person I think that he would think that, that I, I, so let me see if I can do that again. I'm the last person that I would think he would want to spend time with. <laughs> so uh, so it, it's, it's, been a, it's been a road. Um, yeah, so I think um, it's really uh, is is a is a you know an investment in a in a philosophy almost of of uh, of other other centeredness and how beneficial will that be for our uh, other relationships in <laughs> in our life uh, uh, because you really have to do, take out you know the 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 eye in it uh, and uh, and try to invest in in, in him and I so I. I I, I've gone through that in a very interesting cycle. It sounds like you're in the midst of, and I'm still in it. I mean, sometimes I still want a heck of a lot more from it, but it's, uh, but it's, you know, it's working. Michael, on the other hand, never had a worry. Boy, that's that moonbeam of a smile that he has, and I just felt, you know, when I was when he was young, uh, we we just were 
whew, thick as thieves and bonded and stuff. So, and I think that, you know, that, that just makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? You know, if you get that kind of affirmation that's, oh, my, my last point then, I was trying to remember, did you notice the last 30 seconds I was just rambling while I was <laughs> trying to remember, I knew I had a point, I knew I had a point. Uh, you know, I can't just, I don't know what it is and I have to think a lot more about this so it don't sound so, you know, sort of ch chicken soup for the solars. But, uh, but, but this concept of unconditional love, it seems to be at the heart of what success can come from these kinds of things. Because, you know, if, 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 they, if the young, ki young ones can believe that someone believes in them, and someone cares for them, someone loves them for who they are and like, you know, isn't judging the heck out of them and uh, constantly after them. And, you know, it's not to say you can't correct, not to say you can't issue, give your opinion, but, but that they, if they believe that and they can internalize that, they, the transformation that can occur in them to feel loved, to feel that they can be loved, um, I'm, I'm, as you can tell, a little squeamish about the word save. You know, but I do think it is potentially transformative, and that every one of us has that ability. I think you wouldn't otherwise be here. You know, have that somehow in your in your heart, and so giving that, whether it's a formal program or informally, to to someone, uh, is something that that I mean, it just it can literally change the world one person at a time. So there it is. That's